Hello and welcome to the mid-December edition of Market Watch by Guitar Bench Magazine. I'm Terence Tan, I'm the editor, and I'll be bringing you th through some of the guitars we've found interesting over the past couple of weeks. If you do enjoy this program, can I appeal to you to consider taking out a year subscription for our magazine. You, for just $5, you get four issues of the magazine, as well as exclusive access to webcasts like these 48 hours before they go live on e on YouTube. Enough about us, on to the guitars. Acoustic Guitar Forum listing. First up, a recent bourgeois OMSC model. Rough, roughly translates to a 12 fret cutaway model. This has the upgraded Adirondack Red Spruce top and upgraded Madagascar Rosewood back and sides. Brand new, these things list up for over $5,000. It's listed up for just $2,850, so that represents significant savings. A 56 Martin 0028 guitar is up next on eBay. This is a classical guitar, but even if you don't play classical, it's only bid up to about $1,600. You can easily get these converted to steel string guitars, and that will cost you around $1,000, maybe $1,500, which would mean that you get a guitar with old growth, straight grain Brazilian rosewood for under five uh three thousand five hundred dollars I beg your pardon and that would be a good buy in most people's books. Artisan Guitars has this eBay listing for an Ostoff Dreadnought model. John Ostoff is a luthier who has built up a reputation for very versatile great sounding guitars with high attention to detail. This is no different it's from 2003 and it has Sitka Spruce with an upgraded Madagascar Rosewood back and sides. It's listing up for a shade under $2,000. Considering structurally it's in good shape with just a few, a little bit of wear and tear on it. Represents almost $4,000 worth of savings because you would be paying around $6,000 for a new guitar. This is an older bourgeois up on eBay. It's a 97 model. The JOMC roughly translates to a Jumbo OM model and that is somewhat akin to a small jumbo. The 140 Custom indicates it's a top-of-the-line model and you can see it has the abalone purfling, the extended fingerboard inlays, the floral peghead inlay which is which also happens to be bound and it has nicely figured mahogany back and sides. The top is a western red cedar top and this would make a nice finger style instrument for a guitar which would list new for over five thousand dollars the buy now price of two thousand six hundred fifty dollars is not unreasonable we'd like to thank robin for her permission to use the photos up on guitar gallery we'd like to highlight two guitars up on there mark benito has a his arts and crafts mission model mark benito of course as you may know is a canadian luthier who's built up a big following over the past couple of years for attention to detail as well as very versatile guitars. This is really a showpiece guitar and you can tell that because he's used very high grade appointments, high grade Brazilian rosewood appointments as well as the snakewood <coughs> pins and buttons on the Waverly tuners. Uh, Mark has based this around a concert standard 12 fret model with no cutaway. It has a Adirondack spruce top but the highlight of this guitar is the flamed quarterstone white oak back and sides. You don't often find this used in gut guitar making these days, but there's no reason why that should be because white oak makes a very balanced, very rich sounding guitar. And new this guitar would cost close to six thousand dollars, I believe. It's listing up for three and a half thousand dollars, and it's in very very good condition. You can see the attention to detail the flamed figured white oak back and sides, the Brazilian rosewood appointments. One guitar we had to point out to you was the John Arnold Jimmy Rogers Wayman special guitar. It's a mouthful, yes. John Arnold is the builder. Jimmy Rogers Wayman special is a vintage guitar which is rare and highly sought after. John Arnold is a sought after luthier. He builds vintage reproductions and this one is no different. This guitar has a mahogany back inside with a Adirondack red spruce top. 
it has the unusual feature of having raised ribs on the sides like the original Wayman's and it has a lot and a lot of detailing work it's got marquetry it has inlays and John Arnold can really pull a great tone out of a guitar I have no doubt that this sounds as wonderful as it looks Doc Watson would agree with that he put his signature on there and according to the listing um, quite a number of celebrities have played this guitar and finally from Benunzio's Winter Sale, we have a, another Breedlove. This is a Breedlove sort of Concert Meyer. It's an early one from 95 when they were made in small quantities. This has that asymmetrical shape to it with that sort of built in sweep cutaway. Red cedar top, mahogany back and sides, built with very very close attention to detail you can see it in all the perfling work along the sides and along the top it's a finger style guitar no doubt one and seven eighths inch nut if you can cope with that this guitar is priced very well at two thousand four hundred fifty dollars on the winter sale and it's something you might want to consider well that wraps it up for this edition of Market Watch, we thank you for your time and hope you find this feature useful.